Hey guys, today we're gonna do a bar workout. It's a full body workout using just a light set of weights. So you might want a mat or something soft. We are gonna be down on the floor somewhat for this workout. Um, but other than that, you don't need an actual bar. You just need yourself a set of light weights and a chair maybe if you want something to bounce on, countertop, something like that. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna start at the end of my mat. Really breathing nice and deeply in through the nose. Hold at the top, exhale. Dive it forward. Take an inhale here at the bottom. Stretch through the backs of the legs, bend the knees, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Fold those shoulders out. One more big deep inhale. Find that extension through the upper back. Exhale, dive it forward. Stay here for a moment and pedal out the feet. So right heel lift, stretching the back of the left leg, and then left heel lift, stretching the back of the right leg, and alternate. Feeling that deep stretch along the calves and hamstrings. Good, last one. Ground both feet, rolling it up, stacking that head last. Good work, and we're gonna walk it out into a plank. So finding that nice fold over, walking out three, two, one. Hold your plank here, from here. Tap that right foot out, left foot out. Right foot out, left foot out. Good, right and left, good. Now hold, hold it here and walk it back in and roll it up. Next one, we're gonna do shoulder taps. Walk it back out. Three, two, one, hold it here. Shoulder tap left. Opposite hand to opposite shoulder, holding that nice tall plank. If that doesn't work for you, you can just come down, hold a plank on your elbows. Last two, last one and walk it back. Good, roll it up. And last one here, you're gonna combine both. Roll it back out. Walk it out for three, two, one. Hold that plank. Right leg, left leg tap. Right, left, right, left. Hold, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. Feeling that heat, last two. Last one, good. Now this time walk your feet, walk or jump. You can hop your feet up if you want a little extra and then roll it up, rolling those shoulders out of the ears. Step it back with that right leg into a lunge. So you're gonna be high crescent, take the arms overhead, take that knee towards the mat as you upright through the spine and then Rotate towards that front leg. So back up, press into the mat, and rotate forward, lift, and down. Taking that hand behind the head, rotate. Now this time, see, can you take that leg off the mat and down? and rotate open good lift and down and rotate open good one more and lift and down and rotate open good stand it up switching sides nice long crescent lunge left leg back long energy out of that left heel press through that front foot the whole front foot Take those arms overhead, breathing deeply. Sink it down low and twist towards that front leg. Center, lift, push through that front heel and back down, knee towards the mat, open. Center, see if you can lift that left leg off slowly, lower it back down and open, good and lift, Ooh, balance here, and lower, center, 
Good job. Lift, prep through that front foot. With control, lower back down. And open one more through the center. A lift, grow longer through that toe. Gently put that foot back down and rotate open back to center, stand it up. Good job. You should feel a little bit warmer now. You're gonna grab your weights. Whew. Gotta get my breath back. Taking those feet nice and wide. So we're gonna be in external rotation with the toes, 10 and two on a clock. Taking those weights right in front of you, right in front of your rib cage. Drop it low, bicep curl up, down, and curl up. Good work. And curl, pressing those inner thighs out towards that big and second toe, down. Now you may have to narrow your feet a little bit. I start a little wide for my hips. Everybody's hips have a different range of motion. Down. You just want to look down and make sure that those knees are able to track over your big toes. If not, you might want to turn your feet slightly in to accommodate your hips down. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hold it low. Hold it low. Take those elbows to 90. You're gonna open and close just from the back of the shoulder, opening and closing. Squeeze those shoulder blades together down the back and open back together. Good. For six, five, four, three, two, on one. Hold, lift that left heel. Take that left arm out, pull it in and out, pull it in, you add the heel, lift and lower, lift and lower, let the legs burn, lift and lower for four, last three, two, and one, other side, out, pull it in, good job, pressing that inner thigh out, should really be feeling your inner thighs here, out, pull it in, five, breathing for four, Last three, two, and one. Lower, Whew, shake it out, shake those legs out. Whew. Building up that heat quickly. From here, we're gonna add on. So we're coming down into a second position. So we're gonna plie down. We're gonna turn into a lunge with that arm out in front of you. So it's my left arm and my left leg it's rotating forward. And then you're gonna pull towards that left leg, stretch it long, back open. All right, so this right hand's just on your hip. My left hand's gonna mimic the motion of my left foot. So it's down, pull across, out, across the body. Down, pull across, look in the direction of your weight, out, sweep across, back, pull, out, and sweep, legs are burning. Pull, out, sweep, good job. And pull, and press, and out to second, one more, over. Pull, out, and back, stand it up, good work. Woo, shake those legs out. We're gonna repeat that, the other side. So second, back into your wide stance here, toes at 10 and two. Now that left arm or right arm is gonna be out. So it's out, across, row, with a rotation, and back out. Row, rotate, back out, and forward. Make sure you lift up that foot so it can really rotate. You might wanna step off of your mat for this one. Sometimes the mat provides too much resistance. Pull it in, press it long, out. Good, two more. Pull, press, good job. Last one, pull, press, hold, and lift it up. Good work. From here, taking it back into 
that nice long crescent lunge. So my right leg is back, my elbows are in tight towards my side here, tipping it forward from the hips to engage that core, tricep work here, press and pull it in, press it long, keeping those elbows nice and high, trying to grow longer through the top of your head and that right heel press. Good for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. See if you can lift that leg off the ground, that right leg off, and we're gonna take that left arm forward and alternate. It's a huge core challenge here. You can always keep that toe down on your mat, but see if you can find some balance here. You'll never know unless you try it. Out, out. Good, four, three, last two, last one, and step it back, take those arms nice and long, final work here on this side, tap the weights up, tap, grow longer through the arms, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand it up. Good job, shake it out. Got to go to the other side. So more triceps, got to keep those legs even. So right leg forward, nice high lunge here. Shoot energy out of that left heel from here. Hinge at the hips, tricep press. They're lightweight, so make sure you control them and they're not controlling you. Press it long, good. For six, five, four, three, two, on one, lift it up. Swim with those arms. Pull and press like you're going through mud with your arms. Don't let momentum just take over. Good. Stretch it long for four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in, set that back leg down. Take those arms nice and long, turn your palms towards the sky, and this time pulse it in. In, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step it in, shake it out. Good job, we're gonna head to the mat for some more glute work. So taking your weights, you're gonna need at least one weight here. Come on down to your mat. Leave one weight off to the side. Take the other weight behind your right knee. So I'm gonna come down to my forearms with that weight in my crease of my knee. And we're just gonna lift and lower that leg, holding onto your weight. So press into your mat and the hands stay apart. So try not to clasp the hands here. Take that leg, shift those hips so they're facing the mat, lift it till you feel a catch in the seat, and lower down, and lift, and lower. Good. And lower down, lift, and lower. Good work. Eight more here for eight, seven, six, Five, glutes and hamstrings for four, three, two, hold up on one. Now take that leg out to the side, to the right slightly, and squeeze it back through the center. So out to the side, little squeeze back in. So it's like you're sliding your knee across the countertop or a shelf, so it stays the same height. Working that hip socket, working those little stabilizing glutes. That's why it burns so quickly. <laughs> Keep those hips stable. Last three, two, and one. Hold center, little taps up, up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one, lower it down, coming onto your left side here. So taking that weight now from behind your knee, we're gonna place it on top of your hip crease. So laying on my side, my heels are in line with my hips and my shoulders. I've got my head propped up. You can come to your elbow if you want, you can be right here. My heels are also lifted. So we're lowering that leg and lifting this little elevated clamshell here, still working those small stabilizing muscles. If you're up here, lift out of these obliques. Don't just think, lift, open the collarbone. Good job. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold up on one, little taps back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Now reach that top leg out, tap the toe, reach long and tap, reach and tap, good. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down, lower everything down. Now taking that weight overhead, you're gonna lift that top leg slightly behind you. Your weight is slightly in front of you. On my elbow here, working the oblique. So you're gonna pull in that weight or your elbow comes to your hips and leg reaches long. Pull it in, press it long. So I exhale as I come in. Inhale as I press long. Getting that nice oblique work here. Leg going behind you. Arm reaching in front in your periphery. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach it long, everything taps up. Up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. All right, we're gonna increase the heat a little bit here. You're gonna lift up into your side plank. Take that weight to your hip crease. So it's a little opening side plank, clam with side plank. So you lift it up, open the legs, lower, drop it down. Press it up, open, lower, drop, lift open good just made it harder lift open close down using those lower obliques more here so that left side is really working you think it's just the right side but it's really the left tricks and lower two more lift open and down last one good now we're going to hold it up so come to a hold hold it up take that top leg long Good, stay here, pull in and reach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down, sit it up and stretch to the side. Good job, we have to repeat that all on that left side. So coming back onto your forearms, Taking that weight behind your left knee now, coming down onto your forearms, pulling that mat apart, gonna lift that leg. Make sure the hips are square, so don't open the hips here, square them off to the mat. Lower, lift it up, lower. Gotta regrip my weight here. Lift, good job. Woo! Getting ready to work this side. First six. Five, four, three, two, hold up on one, out to the left. So slide that knee out to the left and back to center. Out to the left and back to center. For seven, hip stable for six. Really using those obliques here. Four, three, Good, two, and one, hold, center, tap up for 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down and find your right side. So stacking the hips, keeping the hips in line with the shoulders, bring the heels back to that area. Lift down those obliques if you're up on your uh, elbow. If not, you can lay all the way flat here, taking that weight to your hip crease. Heels lifted, lower that leg and lift. So what you don't want to see here is opening everything up. You know, it's not a big motion. It's just to where you can rotate that leg. So this is my range of motion and lower. Any more than that, and I have to shift my hips. So we're really focusing on the side of that seat, your glute med, open your collarbone, lift out of those right obliques. I have to remind myself, six, five, four, three, two, Hold up on one little tap, back and back and back. Good job. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend that leg, tap the toe. Good. Six more for six, five. Shoot energy out of that left toe. Last three, two, and one. Lower those legs down. Good, keeping that bottom leg right underneath you like a kickstand, take that left arm overhead, left leg slightly behind you so you feel that stretch across the front of your body. And exhale, pull everything in. Lengthen, exhale, pull. Inhale. Good. Growing longer every chance you get. Good. We want length here. Always intentional about our movements. Last four, three, two, and one. Back down. Now coming into those side plank clam shells. So find that space for that elbow to be. Lift the hips up, open the legs, close. Drop everything down nice and controlled. Lift, squeeze those lower obliques, open, close, lower. Lift, open, close, lower, good. With control, push that tailbone forwards. Let that weight sit in that hip crease. Two more, up, open, close, down. Last one, up, open, close. Now you're gonna hold it lifted, hold it up. Take that left leg, left arm, pull it in for eight. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Now realize when we were out here, we forgot our little taps. So find your nice posture here with that elbow underneath you. Take that left leg on top in front. And we're gonna end with this one when you're tapping up. We forgot this, this side. Tap for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower down. Lower the weight down, I should say, and stretch it over. Good job. Whew. Stretch those obliques ground into that hip, that opposite hip. And we're gonna come into a forearm plank. So finding your mat, pulling apart the mat with those arms, pressing your legs nice and long. We're gonna dolphin press up, okay? So piking the hips through the shoulders, press, exhale. Inhale back to center, find that nice tall plank. Exhale, really pressing down with your forearms into the mat and your fingertips and your elbows, press, exhale. Inhale back through center, four more. Lift the hips and press it out. And lift and press it out. Good, two more. Lift and press, good. And lift and press it long, good. Sink it back into those hips. My, hip, my knees are wide here. Child's pose with wide knees, really stretching back, getting that hip mobility here. 
and we're gonna come into a tall plank. So back onto the wrists. We're gonna stretch it long with those legs. You're gonna start with the right leg. So we're gonna pull the right leg into the center, stretch it long, pull it to the right elbow. Stretch it long, center, stretch it long, right elbow. Out, center, out, right elbow. You got this, out, center, out, right elbow. Two more, out, center, out, right elbow. Last one, center, last one, right elbow. Out, and stretch it back, pedal out those feet. Hmm. Nice downward dog here, pedaling out those feet. You have the other side. Come into your plank. So, find your plank, center with the left leg, long left elbow. Out, center, out, left elbow, good. Out, center, out, left elbow, good. Out, you can do it. And good, well, two more. Pull it in, press. Pull, last one, center, left elbow, and press it long into your down dog. Good job. That got my heart rate up. <laughs> From here, just gonna walk my feet towards my hands here, still hanging over my thigh bones here. So my legs aren't straight, I'm not locking out my knees. Just hanging out here. Nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Good, and bend those knees a little deeper, rolling it up. Ground through the feet. Rolling the shoulders out of the ears. Let's sink it back into a figure four stretch standing. So I'm gonna take my left leg over my right. Sink it down. Whew, sweating. Sweating in the air conditioning, so I guess that says this is a good workout. It's good strength workout, full body strength, working everything. Good, sink into that. Come on up, take that same leg, take that foot into that hand, stretch that quadricep. So aim that knee down towards the floor, contract that left glute. Open up through the shoulders and take some deep breaths here and release other side to right leg over that left knee sink it down ground through that whole left foot sit back like you're sitting into a chair and just breathe into that stretch through that right glute and hip side of the leg and slowly come to standing unwind good press that right knee towards the floor Really see if you can get that heel close to your seat, but don't let your booty be sticking out here. Tuck it under. You want to tuck a little bit here. Stretch through the front of the leg. Whoop. <laughs> Good. And slowly release that down. Let's take our breath. So just open through the chest. Take those hands clasping behind you. Glide the shoulder blades down the back. Look to your left. Center, look to your right. Center, good. Last deep breaths here. Big deep inhale. And exhale. Push it all out. Take those hands to heart center. Big deep inhale here. And exhale. Good. And last deep breath here. Thanking your body for all that it did for you during this workout. We thank you for joining us for this full body bar workout with just your light weights. We hope you'll come back and join us again soon. Have a great day.